we are going to see the, how the zip files archives work natively on Mac OS. For very long in Windows, uh, you had to install either WinZip or WinRAR, and that was a pain until you know when you saw the operating system uh, had native support on it. I believe the Linux at that time had it eventually by Windows 7, I believe. Microsoft introduced uh, zip archiving. So in uh, Mac, let's uh, try to first try to make a zip files and then open it. So again, we're gonna go to Finder and I'm gonna go to actually Downloads. And I have a file over here now if you want to send a uh, few files you can do that neat trick of pressing command and then selecting home uh, uh, selecting them right click on it and compress or you can go to edit or file and compress so now we have an archive.zip you can send it over to somebody now this one this zip is 1.4 mb the three files together were same size no compression whatsoever compression basically works great for uh, text files text based files so yeah now opening the archive file we can double click on it we have a folder it's with the same name with just three files no longer everything just three files at this point you can either delete the archive or keep it I uh, if I have like I like to have massive storage on my system so I normally keep archives uh, or zip files and delete the actual folder the unzip folders so however you want to do the other one would be uh, like if you were to go and archive utility you can open it with and it opened another fo folder so i'm gonna delete that move to trash i was looking for file and you can actually there is no way of opening it without unzipping it in windows that's a cool feature you can open a zip file folder just like you're using winzip or winrar you can see the contact contents without unzipping it that is probably not a functionality of uh, mac yep it's not so that's about it i'm gonna go press the command and nope did the wrong thing press the shift and select all of them and i'm sending them to crash but that's how you zip and unzip files in mac os if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one